Hi, this is Linda. Today we're going to take a look at OneDrive Recycle Bin versus the OneDrive Restore feature. And this is OneDrive for Business. We all have seen and used probably this recycle bin that's been in OneDrive for Business for a long time. But just in February of 2018, Microsoft finished rolling out this Restore feature to OneDrive. And this is OneDrive for Business. And they did this in case a lot of your files got either deleted, corrupted, or infected by malware, which this has happened to one of my clients before. It says you may be able to restore your entire OneDrive to a previous time, and you do have up to 30 days to do that. So let's take a look at what you can do with the restore feature versus the recycle bin. So going back over to my OneDrive, here's the recycle bin that's been there for forever. You can click that. And here are things that I've deleted recently. And if I wanted to restore something, I just click on that and click restore. And then it puts it back where it was, which is which has been great. And then if we look at the um, restore feature, to get that, you come over here and then you click on your settings and it's over here in your settings. So let's click on restore your OneDrive. And that will open up another page and here they have a little drop down where you select a custom date and time one week ago, three weeks ago. I'm just going to select this three weeks ago and we can take a look at these files. And so I've got things up to nine days ago that, that I have deleted. And they also have this slider here that you can move up and down to go back in time and see uh, what your files the files are that had been in that that could be changed now this isn't just things that are in the recycle bin these are in fact they're not things that are in the recycle bin they are things that you have changed so these are like valid files like this wordpress updater sheet this is something i worked on but say i worked on it and i thought oh i didn't want to change any of that or somebody else worked on it and it's just not right so i could i could click on that and restore it back to uh, a previous version. And I just unclicked this, but it says select a change in the list to highlight it. But I wanted to point out that you can highlight things in sequential order. Like I can just do two days ago, but if I did three days ago, it's going to do all of it. But you can't do, you know, a few here and then roll down to nine days ago and do that because it's it's all sequential. It builds upon each other. So if you needed to, that's when you would use that custom date and just do something for a particular date and then click on restore. I'm not gonna click on that because I don't really need to restore anything, but I wanted to just point this out that it's a nice feature to have because if, if you did, updated something or somebody else updated something, then this is how you can go back in time. Remember, it's 30 days. You can go up to 30 days in time, and, and then uh, that that is it. So I hope that was helpful. If you have a comment, please leave one, and think about subscribing to my channel. Thanks a lot.